Hello my friends, today I'm making bread and I'm really excited because baking bread is really high up on the list of things that make me happy as it is eating bread. Um, I do go through phases where I'm either baking every week and we never need to buy bread from the shop or months go by and I don't bake at all. But today is a beautiful sunny day and there's just a hint of an autumnal chill in the air so that's really put me in the mood to do some baking. If you've never made bread before, there's no reason to be afraid. It's really very easy, very little effort required, and the result is definitely worth it. Start by sifting the flour into a big bowl. This will get rid of any lumps and also help mix the flours if you're using two different types. Add the yeast to one side of the bowl and then the salt on the opposite side. The salt can kill the yeast so it's best not to add it directly on top of it. Give everything a little stir and make a big well in the middle. In the well, add the olive oil and the warm water. Make sure the water is not too hot because that can also kill the yeast and your loaf won't rise. It's also a good idea to keep some extra water and flour nearby in case your dough is too wet or too dry and you need to make adjustments. With a fork or with your fingers, start bringing some flour into the liquid and keep stirring. Bring more and more flour into the liquid. Soon you'll have a shaky dough and it will become too difficult to keep stirring with a fork. With your fingers try to bring more flour in and incorporate as much as you can. Try to resist adding extra flour in the dough, but if it's too sticky to come together you might try adding a tablespoon or two. Tip the dough on a floured surface and this is where the fun part begins. Sure, you can use a mixer to knead the dough, but I think there's just something so great about using your hands to make something. Plus, kneading bread is almost like a meditation for me. There are many different kneading techniques. I just do it the way my mom and my grandmother do it. Some say that if you're angry or upset or stressed, you should take it out on the dough. And sure, that might work, but I prefer to make it with love. So I think of it as giving the dough a nice massage. The dough will slowly transform and it will become less sticky. Knead the dough for 5 to 10 minutes. I think I did 8 minutes for this loaf. In the end, you should have a nice springy bowl of dough. Place the dough in a well oiled bowl and sprinkle some flour on top of it. Cover it with cling film and a damp towel and place it in a warm place for about an hour or until it doubles in size. After about an hour, your dough should be double in size. Tip the dough on a well floured surface. I always like to poke it first to get the air out. Knead the dough for a minute or two to get all the air out. This is called knocking back the dough. Shape the dough into the shape you want your bread to have. I sometimes go for round, but today I went for a bloomer shape. Line a baking tray with some parchment paper and gently place the dough on it. 
sprinkle some flour on top and then cover the dough with cling film and a damp towel. Leave it in a warm place for about an hour or until it doubles in size again. 45 minutes into the second proof, preheat your oven. Pour some water in a baking dish and place it on the bottom shelf of the oven. This will make steam which will give your bread a nice crust. I should have left the camera rolling here to capture the dough as it rises, but as you can see, after an hour it is double in size. Using a sharp knife, make three slashes in your dough. You don't want to touch the dough too much because that will let the air out and it won't rise as much. If you like the rustic look, sprinkle some flour on the dough and then put it in the oven. So here's the finished loaf. You know that it's done when it's got a nice golden brown color all over and when you tap its bottom it sounds hollow. Uh, I wish you were in my kitchen right now because it smells amazing. I think it's worth baking this just for the smell. Uh, do try to resist cutting into it when it's really hot. Uh, if you leave it to cool for a little while it's much easier to slice into. Uh, let me know if you make this and if you've got any tips on baking bread share them in the comments. There's more recipes coming your way soon and now I'm off to get the butter. Bye!